and then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. You and, uh, what's his name? That mage. Seem to be getting pretty close. So, what's going on, Hawk? You wouldn't bring this up just to gossip. What's on your mind? Shows what you know. I would definitely bring this up just to gossip. I didn't, but I would. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Maybe, just maybe, getting involved with the possessed mage might be dangerous. There, I've said my piece. I know you mean well, Varric. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I certainly hope so. So what do you do in that gigantic house all day? Dance, of course. Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Camlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. May I say again how thankful I am you've allowed Sandor to remain. He seems fit. Thank <laughs> you. 
I did? What of it? Blue dress, grey hair. Her cloak was brown, I think. I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Maybe you should talk to my fist. Why? Does it talk back? Enough. This is about your mother. You want something? Here. What about this? Oh, that's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. 
<sighs> it's not too late. She could still be alive. Why would anyone take her? It doesn't make sense. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow him. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. More blood. I'm on the right path. taking her. There. I hope I'm not too late. inside. This is where you found the human remains all those years ago. We should have known there was something else here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. down there with him.
I know this locket. It belongs to Mother. woman in the portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now. Not going to happen. What a surprise. Why would he have these? What's he planning? I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. I don't want to hurt anyone. Release my mother and we'll go. She is here. She is waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers, and, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us.
mother. There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. Don't move, Mother. We'll find a way to... Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... Why her? Why Leandra? Mother's gone. Will knowing why ease the pain? No, it won't. It will always seem senseless, won't it? Where's the one who did this to her? Did you find the person who killed Leandra? He's dead. It won't bring Leandra back, but I'll take comfort in knowing that. Carver needs to be told. I'll send a message to the Grey Wardens and hope it reaches him. Take care, my dear. I know nothing I say will change it. I'm just... I'm sorry. You were lucky to have her as long as you did. When the pain fades, that's what will matter. I didn't try hard enough to save her. She wouldn't want you to blame yourself. You don't know my mother. No. And I'm sorry I never will. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. <laughs> 